Hi, my name is Martha and I'm a reporter for the Dog Spotters. Today I'm meeting Sophia Prokenshire, yes. uh, the director of the documentary The Dependents. Hi Sophia, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with me. Thank you for having me. Your film is called The Dependents. Could you explain this title to me? Um, so The Dependents is an actual bureaucratic term that is given to um, either a spouse or the children of a family that are accompanying um, someone who is in a role, in a professional role. Um, so in relation to the film, um, what I trace is my father's uh, work as an immigration officer um, and having this, um, you know, foreign service um, position. So the dependence in that situation was my mother, who was his partner and who was a spouse, and then the children. Um, so that idea came along when, um, in one of the interviews that I did with my mother, she kind of highlighted that um, role or that position that she was kind of placed in automatically um, and also kind of bureaucratically. And then I think the more I thought about that idea, that feeling of the dependence, it also kind of opened up other layers of dependency in terms of thinking about immigration or migration. Um, it's not only like a spouse or child role that also is portrayed in the film and spoken to, but it's also about the people who want to immigrate to a place or who want to receive a visa or who want to seek asylum. Um, they are dependent on the structures and the rules and the um, um, yeah the, the the legislation of a country. I think the film can be just specifically about you know a dependent, but I think it also kind of tries to shed light on those um, all those other kind of facets of yeah, it <laughs> the opens idea of up, being dependent. Yeah, it opens up kind of a lot of dimensions and. How you can look at the movie also. Mm. Not everyone happens to be the child of an yeah. immigrant program manager, is what I thought, um, like your father is. Um, when did you notice maybe in your childhood that it was different from other people's childhood? Um, I think what was different for me is uh, was actually this idea that we were jumping from place to place, that we had a home for two, three or four years, and it was a happy home for me for the most part. Like uh, I, I didn't have complaints and I was used to this bouncing, but then um, there was no family home. We never went anywhere where there were uh, You know, there wasn't this idea for me in my head because my father was a Canadian immigration mm -hmm. program manager. Canada did not really exist for me in that regard. We would not go back and stay there. There weren't really many family members that were there. So it was having sort of this country in the background, but at the same time living elsewhere and feeling more attached to those places. And then I think that kind of started existing with my father's job of understanding Oh, this may, this is, feels a little bit different. This, but I think the older I became, that was clearer. Um, that, um, yeah, it was a, a different way of, 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 of childhood. So, what I was wondering in the film, you mentioned a lot of the countries that you've lived in. But could you give us like a quick run through of all the countries you've lived in so far? And maybe also name your favorite and maybe one you wouldn't want to stay in again or not so much? Um, okay, so <laughs> I was born in Canada. I was one year old. We moved to Chile. In Chile, we lived there for four years. Then we moved to South Korea. We were in South Korea for four years. Then we moved to the Philippines. That was three years. Then we went to India for two years. Singapore for two years. And then we went to Argentina, um, where I graduated high school. I went to university there. I had um, extended family there. So I stayed there for, I think, 14 years. And then, and that was with my family. 
After that, I moved to the United States. And I've just moved to Canada now for the first <laughs> time in my life. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, they all kind of make part of me. So um, the funny part is never returning. So I, they just stay kind of in the, in the, in the memory spot. Um, so this film also tries to do that to recover a little bit of that. You don't have to hate on one country. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. So... Um, When somebody would ask you, where are you from, what would you answer? Um, or sometimes I would say, oh, this, like, oh, I'm from here. And then they're like, oh, so you grew up here. And then I would say, oh, no, not exactly. <laughs> and then it was like, well, where did you grow up? And then it's like a long answer. So I think now what I say is that I'm Canadian-Argentine. In the movie, you lose, used a lot of different elements. And in certain scenes, uh, it seemed like some fragments, uh, fragments of a memory. Um, what did you want to express with that? It's not so much of the telling of where we went and what happened exactly in every stage. It was more of this telling of looking back and, and thinking what was that time and what certain events spoke to me when I was looking at these diaries. What questions I had also when looking at these diaries or thinking about my own identity and my own life. I think then it was, if I'm looking back and thinking about memories and thinking about times, that doesn't function in a linear way. We don't, um, you know, look back on certain memories and have it all very compartmentalized and very clear. So I felt like the structure of the film should also represent that and also should reflect this changing, this kind of this thing of where you're you're shifting and you may not know exactly where you are you may not you there may be a, you know you have to kind of find the bearings um it also speaks to the experience of moving of movement of migration also where to find a place um can take time so i felt like i wanted to kind of work in that way um, I read that you basically shot and edited the movie by yourself. Um, what was the reason for that? The nature of this project, it felt to me like finding a structure, finding a way and also not writing. I would need to use the editing process as a way of writing. So that for me felt very personal. I don't know if I could have um, uh, shared that I mean, it was there was a sharing process, of course, of a back and forth and showing parts to to people and getting their response. But I felt like that was something if I was looking through things and almost like doing a search and a dig. Um, that was kind of a research process that I felt was uh, like an undertaking that I wanted to do, um, especially because it's family based. Uh, so there was part of that where it was like, okay, I think as an individual I can, you know, uh, take this on. And so I think it was also about it, having the freedom to say, today I'm going to shoot, tomorrow I will look at images or look at tapes, maybe I will put the camera here to see what happens, and then six months later I find this um, track or this uh, clip and I think, oh, I could worked this and that happened many times in the editing of that film that things two years later all of a sudden found a place in the in the in the in the in the film and I had not planned it so I think it was the unplanning the freedom the using the tools which is what I really wanted to try in this project wow that's really interesting so you already mentioned that you now live in Canada for only for four months so far um, is it strange for you to live in one place now since you've moved around a lot? Maybe, I don't know if you can already tell when you only have lived there for four months. Um, I think I'm reaching a point in my life where this thing of staying somewhere may be interesting <laughs> to me. <laughs> so um, we'll see. I think for me the funny thing is that a place that, you know, is is a nationality of mine is very new to me. Um, at, at 34 years old, I, it's sort of coming into a place that I'm understanding what a, the city is like, what the culture is like, 
um, what makes this place move, a uh, language. Uh, so that's something that I can't say, actually. It's like, oh, I'm ready to stay in one place, rooted in one place. But I think there's now a new trial now with being and living in Canada and um, seeing what that is like uh, a very like delayed return <laughs> long <laughs> departure and a return i don't know if it's a return actually but it's an arrival a new arrival uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see yeah then thank you for the interview it was very nice to talk to you nice to talk to you too thank you for yeah. your question <laughs>